Both the Titanic and the Gustloff departed from their builders' original plans during construction, creating critical vulnerabilities that would later prove fatal. The Titanic's designers made significant compromises as construction progressed. Her watertight bulkheads, initially conceived to extend higher, were ultimately built stopping short of the upper decks, allowing for more impressive public spaces but creating a fatal flaw in her compartmentalization. The number of lifeboats was reduced from 48 to just 20, meeting only the minimum legal requirements despite the ship's unprecedented size. These decisions prioritized aesthetics and passenger comfort over safety margins that might have saved hundreds of lives. The Gustloff's transformation was even more dramatic. After briefly functioning as a pleasure cruiser, she was converted into a hospital ship and floating barracks when war erupted in 1939. By January 1945, with Soviet forces pushing westward, her final role became clear, evacuating thousands of refugees fleeing the Red Army's advance. It also made the ship vulnerable. Military equipment added to the ship increased instability. Windows designed for scenic cruising were sealed shut for blackout requirements. Most critically, a ship built to carry under 2,000 passengers in peacetime was suddenly expected to transport 10,000 desperate civilians through hostile waters with an insufficient number of lifeboats, just like the Titanic.